Hello everyone, it's me A summary welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial. Today I'll show you this type of logo design and this one is easy if you follow my rules. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. We are in Illustrator now and we'll make this logo here. At first, uh, you have to take a file and going to the new options. Here we'll take an artboard which is square shape and giving the name of the logo is letter logo okay and hit the create button you can take the rgb or cmyk if you want to go to the print options you should take the cmyk or rgb for the web purpose and uh, hide um, that is the 300 dpi or ppi whatever it is and hit the create button and after that we'll go to the line tool here the line tool and press the shift and hold it drawing a line like this okay the stroke thickness is 2 it will help you out to recognize properly all the stuffs. press alter option button and drag it make a copy by using this way okay press controller command d d and d d d d that means you will make 12 lines make it group and ctrl c and ctrl f that means the forward paste and rotate this one by pressing shift and hold it and you are getting like this and again ctrl c and ctrl f making this one copy and paste and press the shift and hold it and making it like this and this one again ctrl c and ctrl f and making this one like that press the shift and hold it all the times it will help you out all the steps i'll make in the middle that's good and press ctrl or command g and making it middle of the artboard now we'll take circle according to the square shape the bigger square shape going to the ellipse tool by pressing l from the keyboard and then you'll make the symmetrical circle like that so if you press the command and shift at a time you will get the symmetrical uh, like a circle over here so here is the intercept options okay alter and shift this way this way press the shift and just match with that ctrl c and ctrl f for the forward paste and making it small according to the small square here is the square and here is another square so you're getting like that at first is so you have to define the middle of the things that means here the middle where is the middle you have to define if i taking this one only this logo ctrl c and ctrl f so this one okay let's see the middle where is the middle if we take this one okay according to this actually this so this one is the middle okay and here we'll keep that okay that's good select all the stops press shift m for the shape builders tool and it start from here okay that's good and you can take the color from here and it will help you out to make this one properly okay that's fine and the upper side of the s okay that's good and the lower side of the s okay now you should make the letter at first then you can do the correction or the polishing stops so from here okay a if i make the a from here so here is the a so this one is a and here will be the middle and c if i make the gap like that here from here make the circle properly okay see okay now time to make this one proper like uh, gap filling options so i'll go fast forward for these options just because of it will take a couple of minutes and i 
don't waste your time to do that. So uh, everything just I selected. Now time to delete the lines here. The magic one tool and select once. If I go to the magic one tool and select line and delete all the lines. So all the line will delete it one at a time. Okay, fine. And now going to the ellipse tool and here I'll find out the center and making it to like this that means the fill color is top and stroke color will be appear like that and here making group and making the middle alignment all that stuffs okay fine now i'll make this one into 10 12 or make the size of the stroke yeah that's fine for me and now going to the object options and making expand and hit ok now this one is no longer stroke and now all the steps i'll select and going to the uh, like here at first you should choose the gradient tool that means the gradient like that and make this one 90 degree that's fine and making it reverse that's good and now select in a black portion into this type of color on this type and the upper portion this type of color so darker portion i'll choose this color and i'll make this one into hsb use saturation brightness and i'll make it more like that and this one i'll make more stuffs like that yeah i think this one is good and here uh, don't forget to turn off the stroke from here turning off the stroke it will makes sense okay nice simply you are getting the uh, symmetrical logo which is really creative and um, it's uh, the ancient or like old technique to make these type of things in uh, when the illustrator wasn't uh, like invented in that time uh, the designer just made it into handmade way or techniques uh, in this 2021 you can make this one easily by using the lines and the stuffs so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i mean someone is signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye